Hi guys, my name is Juliana and welcome to Let's Learn English. The subject for today is used to. This video contains material for grammar, writing, reading and listening. Well, let's start. When do you use used to? We use used to to describe some time we did in the past but don't do now. How do we structure used to in an affirmative sentence? First, put subject plus used to plus verb plus complement. For example, I used to play tennis. How do we structure used to in a negative sentence? First, put subject plus didn't plus used to plus verb plus complement. Pay attention. In a negative sentence, put used in present. For example, I didn't use to cook the dinner. How do we structure used to in an interrogative sentence? First put did plus subject plus used to plus verb plus complement plus question mark. Like a, a negative sentence, used is in present. For example, did he used to eat vegetables? Now, here are some examples. Sample 1. I used to drive a car, but now I drive a motorcycle. Example 2. Carlos didn't used to have a girlfriend. Now he does, and he's in love. Example 3. Did she used to cry when she went to a school? Activity number one, pause the video and read the text, then answer wrong or right. Then you finish to read the text, answer wrong or right. First, pause the video and answer, don't scam guys. Now check the answer guys. Excellent job. Now practice listening. Listen and watch the video and identify the use of use to. Where's mum? I don't know. She called earlier and said she'd call back. She wants to speak to us both. Did she sound happy or serious? Happy. Is she finally going out with your head teacher? Ha, uh, I'm not sure. But I think they've been seeing each other for a while. He didn't used to wear nice clothes, and recently he's looking quite cool. I wonder if she'll start travelling less. Maybe. She used to go away on really long trips, and these days it's maximum a week. Oh. Hi, Mum. Are you in London? Yes. Surprise. Are you writing about London? Yes, I am. I'd forgotten how amazing it is, and it's near home. <laughs> so, do you have more reasons to stay near home these days? No. Like what? Never mind. I just thought that I'm always abroad, but we've got one of the most interesting cities in the world just an hour from home, and I've never even written about it. So here I am. I haven't been here to visit for years. It's nothing like it used to be. The record shop I always used to visit is now a really cool cafe specialising in bubble tea. So what else did you used to go to London for? For fun. For concerts and to buy new clothes. But it didn't used to be as busy as it is now. I love what they've done on the South Bank. I hadn't seen the London Eye close up before and the Tate Modern's an impressive building with great views of the bit that used to be the docks. So is it all so different? No, not completely. The area near the river is very different, but the West End hasn't changed much. 
the theatres are still great, and Piccadilly Circus looks a little different than it used to. But it's still a meeting place, and the lights are still there. But I like the new London. So... Yes? I've booked hotel rooms for the three of us for this weekend, so you can get to know London a bit better. Cool! Wow! I'll book your train tickets now and call you back in an hour or so. OK? OK. okay. All, All right. right. This is everything for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. And remember, if you have any question, write them in the comment and our Let's Learn English team will help you. Don't forget, practice makes perfect.